Yeah, so uh, no rain here. Yeah. We're looking dry, we're looking sunny, <laughs> we're looking bomb. warm. Yeah. But we do have some marine layer. We have the low cloud cover that uh, is hugging the coastal mountains this morning. If you can look off in the distance, this is our Fairfield Sky camera looking off to the southwest. And you kind of see the coastal mountains here and you got a little shroud of clouds over that. That's the marine layer and that's a great sign if you like the cooler temperatures in the morning here during the summertime. Temperature of 58 degrees in Fairfield, 59 degrees in Sacramento. We're in the low 60s in Yuba City and Stockton because of that marine air coming into the valley ushered in by that delta breeze and you can see the extent of it. It's much thicker this morning and so you can see it extending all through the coastal valleys through the Bay Area and a little bit of that making its way into the delta. Your planner for today expect to have temperatures again. It all depends on how this marine layer is going to shape up and how effective the delta breeze is. If you're in areas that you're going to be feeling that delta breeze, you're not going to hit 100 degrees. If you're in spots where that delta breeze doesn't reach, then there's a better chance you could reach 100 degrees. So that's kind of the setup for the valley. And through the foothills, we're looking at temperatures in the low 90s as we go through the afternoon. So it is going to be warming up. We're looking at uh, mid to low 90s and through the foothills. And then the Sierra planner, we're looking at temperatures in the mid to low 80s for daytime highs. High pressure, that's still in place. So if you're not feeling the influence of the uh, Delta breeze, you're going to be dealing with the heat. So we still are going to see many spots in the triple digits to the north and to the south end of the Central Valley. The heat's going to be with us today, tomorrow. In fact, a better chance of it warming things up tomorrow. And then we get into uh, Saturday and we're still going to be feeling some of that heat before the cooler air moves in on Sunday. So a little pocket of cooler air, a little weak weather system that's going to be passing across Northern California. And as it passes through, our temperatures drop off quite a bit. And we're looking at low 90s by Sunday. We should be in the upper 80s by Monday. So the holiday weekend is looking pretty good. And then we start to heat up again as we get past Tuesday. And then we should be back in the triple digits by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of next week. So the end of next week is looking hot once again. Seven day forecast shows that uh, again, dropping temperatures over the weekend, looking pretty good through Labor Day. Then we start warming up again on Tuesday and there's those triple digits lurking off in the distance there. By Wednesday, we're back in the 100 degree range. So again, we have uh, heat right now and then we have the heat later. It's kind of like a now and later. There you go. Right? A little break yeah. in there though. That's Pretty nice. decent one actually. Totally. Yeah.